Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Gabrielle Moonwave and some of you might know me from my Instagram so shout out to you guys who came from there. A few months back I made a really big decision in my life and I actually was able to accomplish one of my lifelong dreams of buying some land ever since I was really little along with wanting to be a vet which I'm actually currently in school for. I also always wanted to own my own training and boarding facility because I just always loved horses. I mean how could you not growing up on Yorvik? And through my teenage years it always brought me so much joy to be able to help younger students be able to learn and grow in their passion for equines. I've been wanting to do something like this for a really long time now, but I was just never at a really good place to commit to doing something like this. But over the last winter, I was able to get a really stable job, and then my Instagram was doing really well, getting a little extra money from that. So throughout this summer and the last couple of months, I have been working really hard to get the facility ready for its big debut, and I think now is the perfect time to get into the finishing touches and show it to you guys. I've been wanting to do a vlog channel for a while now, but I haven't ever really gotten around to it, but I just thought, what would be a better time than now? So I'm just going to be doing a small tour of the property today, and I hope you guys enjoy. So first up is my pastures. I have three pastures as of right now. This one, another large one, so two bigger ones, and then a smaller one, which I'll be showing you later. This is my favorite one right now because it overlooks the beautiful river, which is really fun to swim in the summertime, I must say. And I'm just keeping Kaya in here right now. As you can see, she's coming up to say hello, little sweetie. Then next I have this really big pasture, which is probably where I'll be keeping most of the border horses at. I just have Fly out here for today. He just getting his little leg like, stretches in. He's also coming to say hello, little sweet guy. Next I have my smaller pasture, which is if you guys have been following me on social media, uh, following little Kona's story, you'll know that I rescued her with a friend. She was in really bad shape, which I'll show you in a picture. I'll just pop it up on screen. But she was in really bad shape, and I'm just keeping her in the small pasture right now because it makes it easier to capture her. Um, but she, yeah, she's doing really, really well now. Her train is coming along pretty far, which I'm really happy about. Still a little skittish, but we're working on that. Next up is my personal favorite part of the property, which is the outdoor arena. I was super duper excited to finally set this up while doing construction because I was really happy. I just wanted to have somewhere to ride other than the trails. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love trail rides, but I love a good arena. I do not have any jump set up at the moment. I need to figure that out. But thankfully, we are very close to the Silverglade Equestrian Center. So just a couple minutes drive, we can even ride there if we wanted to. So we can use the jumps there for now. Another favorite part of the property is our trail rides and cross country course. We have 12 miles of beautiful, beautiful scenic trails, as well as a lovely jumping course with a total of, I believe it's 12 jumps throughout it. Hoping that maybe more in the future, but it's a good start for now. Um, definitely a big hit with my friends. They were having a blast jumping over these. have our round pen. As I said earlier in the video, I'd love to start getting back into training horses more, and this is going to come in handy for doing that. We also have a, quite a big area for trailer parking for our borders. It was really important for me to have an area where boarders could park their trailers because I know at some facilities that's kind of an issue where there's not a lot of space for trailer parking. So while coming up for the ideas for the properties during construction, I thought of this idea to add a little recreation house, which I'm sure will be a big hit with our students and boarders and staff. But it's basically where everybody here can just come eat lunch, have a little break. It also has full air conditioning inside. Of course, we also have our bulletin board in here, so people can hang up flyers if they need to, and it will also probably have schedules for feeding time and turnouts and stuff like that. And next, of course, the whole reason why it's called a barn tour is the barn.
So we have an easy to access wash rack, and then of course our 12 by 12 stalls. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So hopefully I don't sound too awkward. It's definitely going to take some getting used to talking to a camera. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.